Hey guys, I hope you're having an absolutely incredible day today. Today, I'm gonna to be running you through how you can do automated Instagram posts using AI. Now, here's an example of the kind of video that we are trying to create today, right? So it's got some motivational quote in the middle. Then you have this, this picture overlay in the background. And yeah, today we're gonna to be generating that completely with AI. I haven't seen anyone doing this, so I think it's incredibly powerful and the base premise is you have a sheet with content ideas. You got a row for IDs. You have your, your content. That'll be the middle portion here that you post. And then we are going to create the image, turn it into a video, upload it to Google Drive so you can share the link and then create the full complete video and upload the finished product. So that's a high level overview. Now we're going to be building it out step by step. So you know exactly how you can be able to do this. So first, what you need to do is you're going to come in here, you're going to come into your Google Sheets and you want a row for IDs, a row for content idea, a row for status of that. So if we hop back on over to make scenario, you're going to go and make the connection to Google, your Google Drive, or in this case, Google Sheets. You're going to find the spreadsheet. So in our case, it's motivational content, sheet name, sheet one, it contains headers. And we we're looking where the status is equal to not posted and then sort in ascending order by the ID where the field type is the number and you want to return one row. Next, you're going to want to update a row. So same thing, navigate to your post, find the sheet and change the status to posted. So now we update that row. So every time that we run this, we get a new post being created. Next, we're going to create a meta prompt. So essentially what we want to do connect to open AI. So connect your API key, then you want to create a chat completion. So right, choose the model that you want. In this case, we're using GPT 3.5 turbo, but really you could use any one that you want. Then the role is user. And then the message content is saying create an inspiring landscape artwork for the quote, content idea. The scene should depict a beautiful, serene landscape that visually represents the essence of the quote. Incorporate a prominent feature in the foreground that symbolizes the main theme of the quote. Use elements like mountains, rivers, forests, or paths and ensure the overall mood matches the tone of the quote, whether it's empowering, contemplative, uplifting, or reflective. Max number of tokens, 256. You're going to hit OK. So it's going to create a chat completion. Then we are going to generate an image using Leonardo.ai. So for this, you will need a API plan. I think it's $9 a month. The prompt is going to be choices, message content. So that the message that is generated from the open AI, right? So choices, message content, the model I'm going with is absolute reality. Now, if you haven't used Leonardo AI before, I highly recommend taking the time to go through every single one of these because they have a ton and they're all super powerful depending on which one you're trying to use. So we want to use absolute reality. We want to generate one image. We don't have a source. You can choose whether you want it to be public or not. I'm just leaving it empty. And then you can specify the height and the width. So the first thing that we want to check is that the Leonardo AI successfully generates an image. So we are just going to run this once, see what the outcome is now that we've set that, right? So we've set the prompt, we've mapped the model to absolute reality. We want to generate one image public. We're just going to leave it as empty. So I have alchemy turned on is set to empty. I'm setting alchemy to dynamic. Then we're going to set the height to 1024, the width to 576, which is essentially nine by 16, which is the aspect ratio for Instagram reels, just a smaller size. We're going to set the guidance to seven. That's what it recommends. And let's just leave it there. We're going to hit OK, save, and then we're going to run it once and see what happens. So this is our result, And now it is currently generating the image. You can see here the status was complete. We have an image generation job ID and I just popped into my personal feed and you can see that it was successfully created. So now we have the image created. The next step once we have that image created is to get the image that we've created with that image ID. I also highly recommend if you are looking to experiment on your own, Leonardo has a really good 
API documentation section. So yeah, check it out when you have some free time, if you're interested in coming up with some solutions on your own. So first we created the generation of images. Now we want to get a single generation. Hey guys. So after a lot of tinkering, I figured out how to do this. And so do not use the Leonardo API call button or module that you have access to here, make an API call. There's actually an error in the way that the code is parsed when it's passed to Leonardo. I tried using the API call, filling it all out correctly. I did the exact same thing within Leonardo where you can test out and see if you're, if it's an API key error or if what you're passing is the reason it's causing an issue. And it's literally just this module. So instead, what we're going to do is after we've generated an image, we're going to make a request using HTTP module and we are going to get the URL. So for this, you're going to want to use this specific URL and then the image generation job ID is going to be this right here. And in case you're wondering which one, because there's this and there's this and there's also this, the one to go for is this one right here. So we're going to click that. We're going to set it to get, and then you're going to have the header of accept application JSON with the second header item being authorization in the name and then bearer and your API key. You want to parse the response afterwards so that you can grab the relevant URL or the file that is required. So we generate an image, we get that image, now we're going to create the motion video. So now we're going to create the motion video. This is where you need this specific URL to be able to create that motion video. We are going to post the request to Leonardo. Same thing in the headers. You want to accept application JSON, your authorization API key, and then your content type application. So that's the only one that's different. You want to add that one in as well. And then you're going to come down to the body type you're going to set it to raw, the content type, set it to JSON. And then this is the request content that you want to pass. So the image ID is going to be what you grab from the get request of that image. So you're going to go data generations by PK and then ID right here. So that's what you're seeing right here. Motion strength equals to three. You can mess around with this. I have it set to the default. That's what's recommended. And then is public, you can either set to true or false if you want to make it public or not. And then once again, super important to parse the response. So as an overview, we generate an image, we get the file URL, and then we generate a motion video. Then we are going to sleep so that it has time to create that video. Once that video is created, we're going to do a, another request. So now the request is we want to get the URL of the video that we just created. So the motion video. So once again, have this URL, and then we're going to come in here under data motion SVD generation job, and then the generation ID. So now it's going to grab that URL, we want to parse the response, because that's essentially your download link. And then we're going to do another HTTP request, which is get a file. And that file is going to be data generations by PK generated images motion mp4 url and that is what you are going to want to grab you're going to put that url in here and then boom you have the url to the motion video so to show you what that motion video looks like right this this was the original picture that we generated and this was the video that it output for us entirely ai now if we compare that to the instagram video that we saw at the beginning in my opinion i think this is even nicer Look at this, beautiful. And it's gonna change every single time based on the text prompt that you give it. So after we do that, I went ahead and created a folder. So to make your connection, go to Google Cloud Console. You're going to create a Google Drive API connection. After you create the Google Drive API connection, you are going to create your client ID and client secret. And then you'd go add, show advanced settings, client ID, client secret, and sign in with Google like you normally would. And then you have your connection. Once there, you just map to the place where you want to save it. And then the folder name right now I have is set to row number. So it's dynamic. And you can set this to whatever you want. But this is what I have it set to right now. Then we will come into upload the motion video. So upload a file, Google Drive, 
same thing, make the connection. And then the folder location is going to be the folder ID from the folder that we just created. And then we are going to map the HTTP, get a file from 38. So we have that URL. Now, instead of running every single time, what you can do is just right click, hit run this module only, and then it'll pass the required information from the previous fields. If you do it one step at a time, that way you don't have to constantly keep running and using up your Leonardo API credits while you test this out and debug it. So pro tip, otherwise you can burn through a lot of your credits while you're doing this. Okay, so now that we've uploaded the file, the next thing to do is to get a share link. So this is going to be the file ID from step prior, right? 25, 25 file ID, select the file. Really important that you set the role to reader and the type to anyone so that this file is shareable to anyone on the internet. And now that we've done that, now it is time to set up the JSON to video request that is going to create this video for us. So we're going to head on over to JSON to video, head into the movie templates, we've created a new template. We're going to rename it Instagram Leonardo Reels. So what are we going to need in our scene? We're going to need a video, which is what we're going to dynamically pass. We're also going to come into the movie template. We're going to set it to Instagram feed or even come down here set it to custom and we can set in the width and the height. So 1080 by 1920. What else are we going to need? We're going to need a text element. You can choose the text that you want. Let's say we do reveals letters. Doesn't really matter, right? That shows you the style. So now you can see that's more or less how it's going to pop up. You can mess with your font. You can set the weight, the size, the color. You can set the position however you'd like. And then we're going to do the same thing with the video. Now the resolution on Leonardo's videos is 576 by 1024. Then we're going to set the video length. We're going to set the loop to minus one, which means that it's going to loop infinite amount of times. And then the duration we are going to set to minus two. And that means that the length must be the duration of the container. In this case, the scene. And since we are revealing letters and the letters are going to probably be longer than the video because the video is three seconds. That's why it is important to do this. So now that we have that done, we're going to back out. We're going to look. We have our JSON code right here. We're going to copy that. We're going to head back into make. And that is going to be our request content, right? So you can see it here. The only thing is we're going to have to add in this portion where it says source. And instead of it being a static asset, we are going to pass the dynamic shareable link variable. So let's paste that in. Same thing with the text is going to be equal to the content idea that we created at the beginning. And then the video, we're going to change this to source and the video is going to be the shareable link that we created. Where were we? And that shareable link is going to be the web content link. So you can see right now we don't have the web content link because we haven't ran this once. So we're going to click here. We're going to click run this module only the folder ID. We're going to download the output bundle. This is the folder ID right here. However, you're not sure. Literally just come in here, copy that, bring in chat GPT, paste that and write, I need folder ID, file name and data. Now when we run it, it should work. And that's creating the artwork. So it was successful, right? So we successfully created the folder. He uploaded the motion video file and we should have gotten a shareable link. There we go. That is the shareable link. So if we went here and we clicked on output bundles, you can see we got a shareable link right here that if we paste in will bring us to the URL of that video. Beautiful. Okay. Now that that's done, we'll reinitiate the connection to JSON to video, come down into our scene. Now the source is going to be web content link, which is what we couldn't grab before. But boom, we got that. All this is set up beautifully. Parse response. Yes. We want to make sure that we have these two headers. So content type application JSON and then X API key equal to your API key. We're doing a post request to this URL, which is going to generate the movie for us. Once that is underway, it is going to sleep. And then we are going to get the project name. So same thing, X API key equals to your API key. And this time we're setting it to get project is going to be equal to 27 data project. Right, so when we run that request, it's going to generate a video and it is going to fall under data project. Make sure we parse the response and we are going to get a file. So instead of an HTTP request, we're going to get that file. That file is going to be the data movie URL from 
get project 29 and finally we are going to upload it so now let's run this module only okay paste your content idea in here get your web content link and to hit okay so it was success there you go now you have your project that we need now the video is being created so i'm gonna hop into our render logs we got an error that is probably because i passed the incorrect web content url let's just run it once more should be the second one here hit okay new folder location make sure that is set to the same one that we create in 24 the 24 folder id save and run okay so the video has finished rendering let's see it beautiful that's it incredible so the one thing i will say is this video is way too zoomed in so what i'm going to do just to get the proper sizing right is head back on in here to our movie templates pop into here click on the video upload a source url okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and upload that video right now you can see just how small it is this is the issue i ran into last time hey right, guys so in a previous video, I had an issue and we were in the recent to video where there was slight overlay on the video. So if we click on the video right now, right, you see how it's like the exact dimensions of the video, which is how it should be. But in the pr previous video that I had, there was like this empty gap that this container went around. And because of that, I couldn't set the width and height properly. But now that that is here, I think we can just set it to 1080 by 1920. Yeah, exactly. Beautiful. It'll work. Perfect. Then I'm also going to modify the text just a little. So go in docs, tutorial, and there's a ton of really good, helpful information on how to get started with your own API. Highly recommend reading through this. And we're just going to add in a little shadow right here, right? So we're going to head back over into our request content. We are going to set the width and height to the proper height that we require for this Instagram reel. And then in settings, I'm going to copy that paste it back, change this to shadow, and we are going to set it to three. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to save. We are going to run one more time. So we'll wait for it to finish. Boom. There we have it. Could probably mess around with the font a little more and also shrink the size of the borders because you got to think that Instagram has a bunch of buttons on the side, so it might interfere with that. So in order to do that, you would just come back in here into your movie templates, click on your movie template, on your letters on the, the size of it and then you would just shrink it in a little bit into something like that you'd still get your buttons on the side your text wouldn't interfere you can always test it out so yeah guys just keep messing around with the settings until you find something that that you work that you want to represent your brand with i'm just gonna leave it as is final step would be you know to set either a direct upload to Instagram that you could post to Instagram, create a connection, your client ID, your client secret, so that you'd have to go to Facebook for developers and you would just create an app and plug those two in there. You could do the same thing for for TikTok, for YouTube. Possibilities are truly endless. Or if you wanted some sort of intermediate step, you know, to review and to post yourself, you could add another module which would be like some sort of internal notification. You could do a text notification. Get a phone call, I guess. <laughs> Set up an email. Possibilities are really endless in terms of how you want to proceed at this point. But that is the gist of it. Oh, incredibly powerful. Yeah, I'm going to continue to build great things. And I hope that you stay along with me for the journey. And you also implement these tools and these strategies into your own business to continue to grow and to develop and land clients and, you know, do incredible things to make the world a better place. So hope you got incredible value. And if you did, I would really appreciate a subscribe and I will catch you on the next one. Have a wonderful day. Peace.